Hi, I'm Lee. I'm the FP&A Technology Director at Revolut. Today I'm going to show you about regions within rules. Regions are designed to be used in addition to comments, not in place of, and they allow you to group sections together. So by using regions, we have the ability to group aspects together, which we can shrink and expand. To shrink, when you define the beginning of a region, you see that there's an arrow with a drop down. That, re that arrow means that it's the start of a region that's showing all the lines. And the way that we compress it, we simply click on the triangle. And now you're going to see that arrow now points to the right. There are two different ways that we can now expand our region. Region number one is to click on that triangle again. And as you click on the triangle, you're going to see that when it's expanded, I can see rows one through four. When it's compressed, I only see row one. The other approach is to click on the arrow to the right of the region. By clicking on the arrow, expands it. Well, how do we create a region? The way that you create a region is by creating the same way that you create a comment. You start the region with the verbiage pound region. No spaces, one big word, pound region. And then put a description in. You end the region by creating another comment. And one big word, pound sign at the beginning, pound and region, and that gives you the ability to create a region. Once you have these regions, you now have the ability to quickly navigate through your reports. Once you have these regions, you now have the ability to quickly navigate through your rule by compressing sections and still being able to see some kind of a description about what you're looking at. This simple approach will make your rules easier to navigate and read when scrolling through multiple lines of code. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you want to learn more, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one, or you can check out our website at revelwood.com.